Now, stopping the flow of alcohol is the first essential step in this whole journey, right? You have to do that before you can do anything else. It provides the foundation, it provides that freedom to change the things that need to be changed, but there are loads of things that need to be changed. You know, from a physical point of view, the things that you're doing in life, uh, from an emotional standpoint, the way that you feel about things and the way that you try to change those emotions and feelings. And from a thinking point of view, the thoughts that you have in how those thoughts are being directed towards certain things and your overall mindsets, the way you think about yourself, the way you think about life. And unfortunately, there's quite a few people who are listening to this um, and it's sad to say this, that they think that just stopping the alcohol is going to be enough. You know, like I said, I, I, can, I can teach a five-year-old how to stop drinking alcohol, right? I say to him, don't put the alcohol into your mouth or don't put this into your gob, right? When, you know, there's certain things that don't need to be, you know, a parent is saying to the child, uh, don't do this, don't put that into your mouth, don't put that into your mouth and giving out. And the child understands that same principle here if you want to stop drinking alcohol you don't put the stuff into your mouth anymore and it's as simple as that now people get annoyed at me and they want to make it more complicated than it is but it's not it's the work that you're doing after that the things that you're doing to change yourself your perceptions your mindsets you know the things that you're doing to alter the way that you react to things, you respond to things, the things that you're doing to change your overall attitude. You know, these are all things that, that are hard to do. You know, we had this conversation about nature or nurture and I'm fully behind the nurture part because the nature part, even if it's there, what the fuck are you gonna do about it? You know, if you've got a gene inside of you, that's wrong. And, you know, I definitely not believe in the alcoholic gene. I think there might be some people who are more prone to get addiction, but, you know, no such thing as an alcoholic gene. Uh, but the nurture thing, that shit's been going on since day one. So they're the things that you have to change. You know, that's the, the attitudes, the environments that you're putting yourself into, the people that you're hanging around with, all of those kind of things have to change if you want to change yourself. And... There's very few people who are willing to put in the work and it is the one place that you should be putting in the work. You know, it, with yourself, with your own life. It's the most important thing, you know, but it's difficult because so much of this is um, trial and error. You have to try one thing and then if that fails, you have to try another thing. Unfortunately, that's just the way it is. Uh, I don't want to be a downer on you today, but I'm just trying to point out that it's not the stop and drinking alcohol that will change your life it's you putting in the work putting in the effort putting in the miles you know if you want to become a marathon runner you've got to get out there and gradually work your way up to it you know it's a lot more straightforward to become a marathon runner i believe than, than to sort some of this stuff out but you know it, it's there you can if you follow um Follow people who have done it before, look at what they've done, and then try and adapt some of the stuff that they've done into your own life. I think that's the only way to do it. Take care.